Welcome back to Trains and Planes. Um, we're getting ready to embark on our latest project, which is going to be the main layout out in my workshop. You all just saw me get the overhead train layout track running. And uh, I chose my Chesapeake in Ohio to do this with, and you should see it coming overhead with me right now. I'll show you the latest addition to my train layout. I've got to go in a little bit faster now. Horns. Get my track announcements. See, it's just too fun playing with the new Lionel stuff. The old one was to basically get your Lionel train racing around the track as fast as you could go back in the old days. And I kind of, I, I went through a little bit of that when I got my scout running. I have two scouts. I think you all have seen those videos, but I got the, my latest acquisition. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. because I'll pan the camera up and do a quick camera cut so it's not so disorganized. But we're coming up on the point really soon. I should be uh, going out into the workshop. And very soon we're going to be working on getting that train layout running. So that means clearing off my workbench and extending that out. I'll have to do some woodwork to build the frame out. And I have to cut down the area right now that has the... I've got an air compressor out there, which is just... It's too big. I don't need a massive air compressor. Uh, this house has three air compressors. Um, I have a very large one, which I'm going to be moving out to my barn. I have a smaller one out in the barn that I'll be bringing in here. And I've got a medium-sized one out there as well. So that'll leave me... I've got three air compressors, and I don't need the big one in my main workshop. Okay, so my latest acquisition... I actually had it. It had arrived a couple of weeks before I actually got... put this up. But you'll see right there in the center after the Enterprise car. I'll talk about that in a minute. But I got the... from Northeast Trains, I got one of the... Uh, that's in Peabody, Mass, which is not too far from where I grew up. I ordered the track cleaning car uh, from Northeast Trains, basic O-gauge model. Uh, if you're looking to get one, it's a 15344 is the model number. And I spent, it was $59.95, which seems a little bit much to me for a pair of trucks mounted on just a small piece of white metal and cleaning pads, but you do get 10 more cleaning pads so it's a total of 12 pads that you get along with the train. And uh, I'll try to take a still picture of that car and put it in there. But right now I've got it running. And you saw me put the my Chesapeake in Ohio up there. That's the 1067 Chesapeake in Ohio. I got my Enterprise car. And the reason I've got the Enterprise car, I was going to get the Enterprise car anyway. I wanted to get the Star Trek train because, well, it's an F-Series and it looks fantastic. But for $400, when you say Star Trek to me... I'm picturing, you know, William Shatner. And to find out the thing came with some other actor, some British guy, doing all the voices and some kind of weird doodly sound effect that's supposed to be a transporter. That's not a transporter sound. Transporter sounds more like a hum and a sound and etc. So, there's my train. See it right there. So I got the Kirk car because I wasn't going to pay $500 for some British actor's voice instead of the captain of the Enterprise. So there you go. I'm very much an original series fan, and that's just the way it's going to be. So anyway, overhead train running just fine. I tried using the, the cookie-flavored, sugar cookie-flavored smoke. The original smoke fluid just has this horrible, horrible, horrible oily smell, and I can't stand it. And close quarters like this, remember it's a, basically a nine and a half, nine foot, eight inch room by nine foot eight inch room or nine foot ten inch room something like that it's almost a perfect almost a perfect cube that smoke just was way too heavy so if you're doing the if you're doing the overhead layout really i strongly recommend take your time while you're doing it don't rush this job because you got to make sure that track is cut perfectly so if you could leave comments you know of course like and subscribe blah 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 I need, what I need is leave comments, go ahead and watch my video on my plans for the upcoming layout space, and if you could just give me some feedback, because I do not have a track plan, and this is so unlike me to proceed without a track plan. I don't have a track plan, so th if you could take a look at that video, and I'll put the uh, link right here or so to tell you where that video is, go ahead and look that video, watch that area and that space, my plans for that space, and uh, go ahead and tell me what you, you know, if you have any suggestions, feel free. Um, and if you've got your own YouTube channel, <clears throat> help me out. Go ahead and put up a video. Thing. I think you could run here and then, you know, 
trace it out or whatever, you know, point to it, however you do it. So hope this was a, a good video for you. Um, I like the the uh, Northeast train track cleaning car. I had to have one. Original, actually, what I would like the most is for Woodland Scenic to do their dust monkeys again. Um, the dust monkeys were the best solution. Just they just hook in behind the wheels of one of the freight cars, and it's not a you know dedicated car. So basically, I've got to take this freight car that they've given me with the cleaning pads, and uh, either just run that from time to time, which is not what I want to do. I would just rather leave it up there and let it run. I'd rather have the dust monkeys because those basically just stay on there the whole time. Now, when this thing turns the corner, you can see it's already got a sizable amount. I got this paused, it's not a very good angle, but whatever. You can already see right there, I've got quite a sizable amount of track area I've got cleaned. And they've actually designed this really well so that when it's going around corners, it's sweeping the entire area of track. I do like it. It's, <coughs> it's a good system. I like it. I just would prefer something like the uh, Woodland Scenic Dust Monkeys myself. So Woodland Scenics, you make dust monkeys in HO scale and N scale. How about something in O scale? <laughs> because essentially what we got is we got a distinct shortage of anything that will clean track. All right. So let me take this video, get this edited, throw this online for next week, and we'll see you later. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. Helps the algorithms to find us. Helps Lionel to find us. Maybe soon they'll start giving me trains. See ya.